one I thought I would kick off today, uh, the Millie Diaries, today with a bit of a feeding time. You see, as you can see, she's been getting quite um, naughty at feed time. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, they're actually a little bit, um, I think they're a little bit put off because what I've done this morning is I haven't come in with the halter and done that halter like the Millie Diaries first and then fed them. So they were expecting that, but I'm low on time. And I've noticed that since the horses have been, uh, when we first started feeding my hard feed, they didn't know what it was because they've been out on grass. She's never been given a hard feed before. So she really didn't want it, so they weren't really fussy about it. And now that they're really getting used to it and they like it, she's actually getting quite pushy at feed time. You saw that little toss of the head. Well, she, you know, she'll trot at you and toss her head and start doing these kind of things. And, uh, and so I thought, well, I've got no time at all this morning. I'm running late to get to the colt start. And, uh, and I thought, instead of doing no training whatsoever, I'll address this issue because I thought it would be relatively quick. Uh, you know, she's a smart little horse, so she knows that I'm, um, you know, looking for something. So I think she was a bit on the back foot and not as, fo like, forward coming as she normally is with the feed. But she, um, but as you saw, what I did was I put the feed down. I asked her to go backwards. I want her to take a backward step. And then I'm quite happy for her to turn her head away. That's a pacifying action. Um, so she's not making eye contact with me, so I'm happy for her to either look away. She could look at me and drop her head and just be calm and quiet. As long as she's not demanding the food, as long as she doesn't have aggressive ears back or something, I'm going to walk away from it. But as you saw, I leave the food. The thing with feeding time is, it's my food until I abandon it. It's not your food. So if you come in the paddock and you think, oh, I've got Millie's food, I've got Millie's food, and then they start being a little pushy, your brain's kind of like, oh, well, it's their food. Whereas I come in the paddock and say, this is my food until I abandon the food and I decide that I, you know, I don't want it anymore and then you can have it. And, uh, and then that ownership is transferred. And as you saw, I walk away from it. I don't want to stand there and let her come up and start eating. That's going to give her the wrong message about being able to approach me for feed. So really short and sweet episode this morning, but I hope you got something out of it. That's episode 10 of the Millie Diaries. Thanks so much for joining me.